Let's talk week two sleepers up next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Saturday, March 30th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Scott White, and let's take a look at week two. Two-star pitchers, Scott. Who are you looking mm-hmm. at? First, I want to clarify that if your week two might be different from the week two we're talking about here, this is week two, presuming your week one was just opening weekend, and you've got a brand new week started on April 1st. So if that's you, then this the, these recommendations are for you. Two star pitchers that I like for that week too. Um, they include Casey Mize, who is one of several Tigers pitchers whose velocity was up this spring. Former number one overall pick. He's at the Mets and against Oakland this week. That last matchup especially good. Michael Waka, uh, just kind of a rotation stabilizer. Always worth using with two starts at Baltimore. You know, tough lineup but good venue. And then against the White Sox for a second turn, really good matchup there. Christopher Sanchez coming off a rough spring where he's kind of experimenting with velocity. I think if you drafted him, you're not sitting him with two starts, especially since one is at Washington. Dean Kramer, uh, as globby of a pitcher as there is, but listen to these matchups versus Kansas City at Pittsburgh. Plus, you know, he's the ERA ended up over four, but he did have some good starts in there. Tanner Houck at Oakland, you got to love that. At the Angels, that that's also looking like a pretty good matchup this year. Uh, Chase Silseth, Silseth, that's what I said there, has some a couple of good swing and miss pitches at Miami versus Boston. Uh, and then Kyle Gibson, sort of like Dean Kramer, in that you know the final stat line might not be amazing, but there are some in, there are some really quality starts along the way at San Diego versus Miami. All right, two single-star streamers you have on the list. A.J. Puck, who we've talked a lot about. He's going up against the Angels in Week 2. And then Jack Flaherty, who is going up against the Oakland A's. Primo matchup there uh, for Jack Flaherty. Let's move over to the hitters. The best matchups for next week. The Royals, Phillies, Rays, Padres, and Marlins. The worst hitter matchups in Week 2. The Guardians, Giants, Yankees, Brewers, and the Rangers. Scott, who are some sleeper hitters you like This upcoming week. So you mentioned the Royals have the best matchups. MJ Melendez is my favorite sleeper hitter. These are all rostered in less than 75% of CBS Sports Leagues. MJ Melendez. uh, So there is only, I I don't, actually, there's not a single left-hander on the schedule. And Melendez is coming off a good second half, a good spring. He's a left-handed hitter. Uh, Take advantage of those matchups. Royals, one of only two teams playing seven games this week. The other team is the White Sox, seven games. And they are also facing nothing but lefties or, or righties, I should say. Uh, and, and that actually works out better for Andrew Vaughn. His splits were much better against righties, even though he's a right-handed hitter. And I think he is somebody who can slot in when the matchups are that favorable. Ryan Mountcastle, Kansas City and Pittsburgh are the two teams the Orioles are facing this week and three left-handers on the schedule. His splits against lefties were amazing. Uh, Jack Sawinski for the Pirates. Good matchups there, and only one left-hander. Swinski tends to sit against lefties, but he has good power and some speed. Henry Davis, his teammate, and I like him this week. Michael Garcia, leadoff man for the Royals. If they have the best matchups, might be worth taking advantage of that. He can steal some bases. Tim Anderson, the Marlins have the fifth best matchups, uh, like Sedan, uh, Sedan Rafaela this year, uh, this week, excuse me. And finally, I'm going to going to mention Jared Kelnick here, who spent most of the spring remaking his swing, working on keeping the barrel of the bat in the zone longer. Uh, He struggled with that for most of spring, but started to get his timing down late, hit a 450-plus foot home run on the final day of spring training. And the Braves are facing four mashable righties in Week 2. Chris Flexen, Nick Nestrini, Brandon Fott and Ryan Nelson. Those might be the only four games Kelnick starts, but he could he could potentially do big damage against those pitchers. Worth mentioning with Henry Davis, too, outfield eligible for now, but by the end of week two, 
He mm-hmm. should have that catcher eligibility, which obviously we're all looking forward to. So hopefully week three and beyond is when we get that catcher, Henry Davis. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.